Hey, how you doing? This is Rich. If you have a lawnmower repair that's needed in the Hazelwood area, uh, you might consider uh, bringing it on by to me. I offer a $60 get it going service, and it might be a good alternative for you versus waiting for a lawnmower repair shop to get to your machine. Uh, it might take two to four to six weeks to get your mower back. So if you need it done fast, that's something that I might be able to offer you. But the thing is, uh, you're going to need to bring it by to me, and I really only like working with the regular walk-behind mowers. It's just easier. I do this out of my garage. I'm not a technician that works for a uh, lawnmower repair shop. Um, those guys, they get ongoing training, and they spend a lot of money to train those guys. I will give them that. Uh, I do have... Um, training on small engine repair specifically so uh, I do have experience with uh, working on them for going on 30 years now and so I just do this on the side and if you want it done fast and you want to get your mower going again without having to uh, wait a long time I might be uh, an option for you so just wanted to cover a couple things you can try yourself if you want to that I see a lot of times and the first thing you might not believe is actually um, there's no gas in it. Uh, check to make sure that you have gas in the mower. That's number one, okay? And number two is you want to check that air cleaner to make sure that it's not being obstructed by anything. A lot of grass or debris gets up in there. Uh, make sure that that is clear, the airway is clear, uh, or, and that you have a clean air filter. And then... Uh, the last thing you want to check is uh, the uh, oil level. A lot of times when that oil level, a lot of people think, okay, it's not running. Maybe if I put a little extra oil in it, it'll help it run, you know. Um, and a lot of times that'll have a lot of negative effects uh, with blocking the air filter. And it'll get the air filter all oily. So if you take off the air filter and you see a lot of oil on there, Go ahead and check that oil level and get it to the proper level. And a lot of times you can do that just by um, taking the oil filter cap off and tipping the mower over, you know, into uh, a, the proper receptacle and until you get it to the right level. And then uh, give it a try um, and see if it'll start then. These are just some basic things you can... Uh, do for yourself things that I've seen over the years that uh, are easy fixes. So maybe that'll fix you up. If that doesn't get you fixed up and you don't feel like waiting for a couple of weeks to maybe a month to get your mower back, um, give me a shout. And uh, the number is 314-441-5981. Thanks for watching.